Hello everyone, welcome to this video on Elasticsearch. In this video, we will cover the basic of Elasticsearch, what it is, why it is widely used, and how it fits into a real-world application. After that, we will perform a hands-on demonstration of its core functionalities, including creating an index, adding data, searching for information, and filtering data effectively. And by the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how to get started with Elasticsearch. So let's get started. Elasticsearch is a highly scalable distributed search and analytics engine. It is designed for fast and powerful full text search and works on structured and unstructured data. It's commonly used in industries for logging, monitoring, real-time analytics, and enabling advanced search functionalities in application. In essence, Elasticsearch turns raw data into actionable insights. Organizations use Elasticsearch to search and analyze data across domains like e-commerce, social media login, and fraud detection. For example, when you type a query in an e-commerce search bar, Elasticsearch powers the system to fetch results instantly. It is also powerful for analyzing logs in monitoring systems like ELK Stack, short for Elasticsearch, Logstack, and Kibana. Now that we know the basics. Let's see Elasticsearch in actions. I will guide you through setting up an index, adding data, searching it, and applying filters. First, make sure Elasticsearch is running. Open your terminal and type this command curve space dash x space get in single quotation http colon slash slash localhost colon 9200. If you see a JSON response like this, congratulations. Elasticsearch is up and running. Next, let's create an index. Think of an index as a database where you store your data. To create a book index, run this command call space dash x. Put in single quotation http colon slash slash localhost colon 9200 slash books books is the index name this command creates an empty container ready to hold our data now let's add some sample data to our index each record we add is called document let's add our first document to the book index Here what's happening in this command, the put method is used to insert or update data. And the URL http colon slash slash localhost colon 9200 slash books slash underscore doc slash one. Specify the index books and the type underscore doc and the document ID is one. And the dash h flag set the content type to JSON. And the dash D flag contains the actual data we want to store. Title to kill mockingbird, author hyperly, publisher, then publisher name, year. This command create a document in the books index with details about the book. To kill a mockingbird. Similarly, we can add more documents to the index. I have added two more documents in the index to show you. We can use similar command to add more documents to the index. Next, let's search for a data in the index. For example, we want to find all books authored by Harper Lee. So for that, run this command. This command, the get method is used to retrieve data. And the slash underscore search endpoint tells Elasticsearch to perform a search operation and the JSON body contain the query a match query to find documents where the author field matches hyperly. The response will show the document containing details about to kill a mockingbird. Similarly, you can modify the query 
to search for other authors or fields. Finally, let's filter books based on specific criteria. For example, we want to read drive books published after 1900. So for that, run this command. In this command, the range query is used to filter data within a range. And the ER field is specified with the condition GTE, means greater than or equal to 1900. And the output will list books published in or after in or after the years 1900. Filtering extremely powerful when dealing with the large datasets. So that's it for today. Hands-on introduction to Elasticsearch. We learn how to create an index after data step by step. Perform searches and apply filters. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video with next topic.